Bonkers! Welcome Buccaneers to the Pixel Pirate Plays Games! This is your host the Pixel Pirate and we are continuing our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. Alright, so... It's all starting to come together really for good old Ireland. Ireland! Um, we can create three titles. What can we create here? Minister... Okay, good old and another one. Alright, um, so what happened last episode? Well, we went to war with uh, Moray and won. Uh, the reason we went to war with Moray is because my son decided to go to war with uh, the king of Moray and actually beat the crap out of him somehow. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go there and take all the pickings and did so and got Moray. So there you go. Um, who's this dude? He's sieging... Uh, who is he? Sudrea. Okay. Damn it. Alright. I really want uh, this land. I am eventually going to have to go. I won't have a choice but to go to war with uh, the kingdom of Sudrea. Ooh. Who has a really weak queen. Who is only 13. Uh, so her dad died who was actually my um, ally I think. Are we allies? How can I find that out? Sudrea. Um, just wondering if I should actually go to war with Sudrea or not. They do have quite a few troops as far as I can remember. Do they have as many as me? I don't think so, but it could be a close thing. So maybe I'll hold off on that just for now. Um... Our spy master is in the wrong area, and I can't move him uh, anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, our chancellor is pretty low. Is there any, any way we can actually increase that? 23! Uh, yes, there is. So we're going to do that, actually, and uh, hopefully that will increase his opinion of us. This guy? Not by much. Uh, too many held duchies. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to have to get rid of a few duchies here. Um... Which I'm really loath to do because uh, <laughs> people who have duchies tend to not, you know, stay very loyal for all that long. Uh, so let's have a look at our vassals here. We've got uh, a genius. Well, he's a genius, gregarious, brave, slothful, and trusting. Okay, he's not married yet. How old is he? 48. Well, we're going to give him... What has he got? He's only a mayor. All right, we're going to give him a... Can I give him anything? No. Uh... Now I can. We'll give him the album of Galloway because it's really small. Alright, cool. A new house has risen uh, to the forefront of Galloway-in politics. Under patrician, that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of lots of people here. So uh, we have uh, more technological advances to do. So we should uh, do that. Actually, sorry, I'm just uh, resetting my timer here. Um, and what else? can we do? We can give away a couple more Yardums and we can create three of them. So we got $500, I should say, not 5000 goodness. Uh, and so we should probably do that at some stage. Okay, so here's this guy. He's got an heir, uh, but she is a girl. And that is actually not good because girls can get married off to other people. So he's also ambitious. Don't like you. Who is? What has he got? Uh, he's the Chancellor. Okay. Um, let's see here, who else do we have? Uh, we've got some old dudes here, which is good. Uh, what's he like? Shy, trusting, cruel, and a fortune builder. He has an heir, and he is really old, so... Uh, yeah, what the hey? He seems as good as any. So we'll give him the Aldum of Strength, Strength Fedor. Where the hell is that? Northumberland? No, that's really big. Strength or uh, See what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. I mentioned it a couple of episodes ago, but it, it's really annoying. See how, like, this is all outlined? That's I know what I'm giving away. If I go to Strength at all, uh, I don't know what I'm giving away. I have no freaking idea. Where, what the heck is that? Where, how do I know what is in it? And so on. Um, very annoying. Anyway, I'll stop ranting and uh, actually do some work here. Um, he can have... Northumberland's a bit high. Wow. The Yaldemir Jorvik is massive. 
I really need to take that off my son. Uh, for now, I'll give it him to uh, connect. Alrighty. And we have an open council position. Ah, oh, damn, that guy was really good. Um, let's see here, what do we need? Uh, okay, 13. Uh, yeah, that seems to be the best one. Oh well. Not too good, but not much we can do about it. Um, and we'll go with uh, some technological advances. Gee, we already spent that much, and we've already got that again in just one episode, so that's awesome. Uh, we're going to go with legalism here. Oh, we can't actually. So we'll, we'll continue to save that up, I think. Uh, cost 442. So we'll, uh, yeah, save that up for a while. Um, let's see here. Improved keeps. No, we will probably go with town infrastructure. I can't actually. Uh, church infrastructure. What does that give us? Temple tax 3.8%. Um, hmm. Yeah, why the hell not? And finally, our troops here, oh, military military organisations will go for, and what else? Siege equipment. Alright, and light infantry, because why not? Alright, so that's done. Um, yes, uh, children like a guardian, but I don't really care about that. Uh, I really am very tempted to go to war with uh, Sudre. Uh, who are they at war with? Defending against uh, Streth Strathoon. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so they're at war with um, at them, and they're also at war with them. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, maybe I should solidify this area first. Hmm. Glen Morgan. Who who is this guy's liege? Uh, okay, so I can actually. Ah, uh, gee, I don't know what to do. Oh, well, 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 wait, 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 okay. Uh, no, it's another five years until I can actually declare war on those guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing a lot of postulating here. Um, I will, I guess, go for... Let's go for this guy. I can't declare war on him, why not? Ah, because he is not actually... Uh, he's uh, land-bound, that's why I can't do it, so... Uh, must, must have a val valid Cassius belly. I do. I guess not. Okay. I'll do it for him then. Declare war on... Dryford, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, and we can call in allies, which we will do. So he says maybe. Um, so we'll uh, get our military up. And he has some guys, so I'm going to move my guys out of there. In fact, I'm going to move all of them out, and uh, just so I don't lose any at all. Don't like losing troops. Dear brother, maybe you live in harmony and contentment. Of course I'll honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Awesome. That is good. And with 5,000 troops, I don't think I need these guys, especially not with allies. So, I shall go and kill stuff. Okay. Oh, hello, you got a thousand troops there. Let's uh, go and kill stuff. Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Someone died. Was it that guy? And he got that. Yep, okay. No worries. And we'll just chase these guys down and... Because we get a lot of our war score from doing that, so we need to actually just chase him around. Where's he going? Chester. Okay. Yep, so we already get 30 war scores, so that's good. So we just need to uh, siege for a little while longer and we are good to go. Okay, I've got 8,000 troops now. I really like getting... Um, I really like getting allies in on things. It's awesome. Uh, okay, my king, I am pleased to report the majority of population of Strengthful have been converted to the Norse faith. Awesome! That is the best news ever. So let's have a look at the religion. Uh, where are we? So Catholic. Norse. Norse, Norse. Norse is spreading fa fairly uh, proficiently. 
which is good. I think I, I don't think uh, this was or something. Maybe this these two. I, I can't remember. I, I just seem to remember that it was actually uh, much, not much smaller than that, but a bit smaller than that. So, well, it's all it's on like Donkey Kong over here. He's declared York on the Countess of who are you? Where is that? Okay, maybe my uh, looks like my son. Yeah, my son's going hammer and tongs on this uh, Caithness. Good. Because I want that. Okay, so we should be really doing well in our siege here. And it looks like we're doing okay. <laughs> Not too worried about these guys. Uh, I'd rather continue the siege than actually kill them. And they can't really do anything anyway, so... We've got any attrition. No, we don't have any attrition at all, which is good. After a successful siege, we have captured a seven-year-old. Go us. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, so our... our uh, truce with these guys should be ending fairly soon, another three years in fact. Alright. Okay, some stuff happened. What happened? Uh, okay, so my vassal has accepted my other vassal's offer of peace. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's accept the, our offer of peace, or their offer of peace to us, I should say. And we have instantly lost our... Uh, <laughs> oh, I need to uh, pause it there. Instantly lost our allies, which is a damn shame. Uh, would have liked to have them around, but never mind. Okay, so they... Uh, looks like Sudre have taken over Ross as well. Uh, look, we're, <laughs> they're definitely going to declare war on us. If we don't declare war on them, then I think that we might have a problem... So, having taken dry fed, uh, maybe I should give away a bit of land, let uh, perhaps a year pass or something like that, and then go to war. Alright, where's my heir? He's getting old. 51. I'm 69. Goodness me. And has he actually got any freaking sons yet? Another daughter! This guy! What is wrong with your penis? <laughs> Not that having daughters is a bad thing, but I really would rather have a son as an heir because it's just better. Um, so we'll give him a landed title here. Yet another one. And we are good to go. Okay, so we are doing alright. Now our vassals all like us by and large, except this dude who doesn't like us because we are an infidel. Um... We might ask him to change religions, and we can't. He's not an unreformed pagan, okay. Uh, well, let's, let's send him a gift of 20 bucks, and that'll just slightly decrease his dislike of us. Um, where is he, actually? Because I will convert him. <laughs> Uh, so he is the Bishop of Killalo. Where is that? Okay, so I will send my seer to that place. And that should sort things out for us. You'll probably die before we get to do anything, but anyway. Let's uh, continue on, and I'm sort of... A bit apprehensive, actually, of going to war with such a big country because my guy is so freaking old. Okay, smallpox has broken out in Oriole. All right, not too bothered about that. So, what's our troops uh, count here? Okay, so we've got over seven thousand. Have a new mayor of Galloway. Okay, he does not like us. Uh, why? Where is it? There it is. Uh, let's see. Too many held duchies, foreigners, infidel, lieges, cruel. I'm cruel? Okay. Alright. We can also create a few duchies. Perhaps we should. That's a hundred gold. And it's pretty small. Well, what's going on here? Uh, legalism. Uh, that guy's becoming a yarl. Yep, I don't care. Alright. Um, 
and we will create oh we can create three now okay let's create that one Tara okay and what else Queen old why the hell not all right and that'll do for now we can create one more maybe we should actually then Duchy of more a uh, Ah, oh, bugger it. We'll, we'll wait. And... Yeah. Okay, I think we're cool now. So, what's happening down here? It's all, all the go there. Um... <laughs> Munster, 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 Munster. What's... When's your, uh... When's it running at? 97. Number two years. Okay, uh... Ugh. It's... You know, I kind of want to take that over just because then I'll have a whole sort of island continent I guess um, and I won't have to worry about you know these guys being an, a, a thorn in my side so to speak however Sundrea is also a thorn in my side simply because look at all my disjointed land and I just noticed that we got this as well <laughs> okay cool uh, he is actually quite powerful at this point in time and just need to check my intrigue here because I certainly don't want to die and lots of people want to try and kill me so um, can we hold a great blot yet? No, we cannot. But we are going to commission a rune stone, even though it does cost a hundred gold. Uh, let it speak of my departed. No, let's just, let's speak of me because I conquered a lot of this. Um, I wish been to be known for my fairness in all things, and I'll gain the just trait. Yeah, why not? All right. I'll let some time pass here. Lots of people are dying. Of course, a lot of my court is fairly old. Although, having said that, a lot of them have been replaced now. Uh, like my steward, I think, is the last one left who is fairly old. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, let's see if there's a better Chancellor. There is. This guy does not like us at all. Um, hmm. 89 is a bit too strong for a Chancellor, especially a Chancellor. So we will improve... Uh, what shall we do, actually? Um, let's sow Descent in Sundrea. And hopefully that will sort of decrease their armies. Because if the Vassal's opinion of their liege is lowered, it means that uh, I have to fight less troops, essentially. So... Uh, I, I guess the main apprehension of me going to war with Asundra is that they have a lot of troops. And I think I mentioned that before, but it seems like maybe they don't have all that many. And they have been in a few wars lately, uh, so they could have lost quite a few uh, troops there. But uh, who knows? Who knows? This game is just crazy. Truces are expiring. 44 days left. Awesome. Where's that? Oh, the stone is raised. The rune stone you have commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. Hafelin, son of Ragnar, had this stone raised in his own lifetime. There was uh, no more fair and <laughs> just in all things. Men and women travelled far to seek his counsel in disputes. Kiljaborn carved these runes. You leave the stone content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when its paint has long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words. Oh dear. Okay, so we gain 200 prestige, plus 2 diplomacy, and plus 10 general opinion from everybody. Good. That's excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Ex actually, excellent. Gee. <laughs> Talking is not my strong point. Um, so that bishop doesn't like us, and this guy does not like us. So maybe we'll send him some money. Or we could give him a, a land of title as well. Perhaps we should give him a temple. Let's do that. And then we will gift him some cash. $126. Jesus. Uh, no, we won't be doing that. I only got I only have 195 after all. Um, so, we have... Uh, what? What's our military like? 6,000. Uh, these two aren't giving us anything. Very unfortunate indeed. Uh, probably our best one is our son, who's got 4,000 troops uh, ready to go for us. 
Um, what's, what should I do next, I wonder? Uh, oh, wow, he's got 3,000 down there, Sandrea. Um, okay, what's happened here? A fleet full of loot has returned from raiding. Oh, cool. We've got some gold. I think. I think we did. Anyway. Uh, he's become a grey eminence. I'm not sure what that means, but anyway. Okay. He's no longer Chancellor. God damn it. He died, did he? I'm not sure. Died of pre-pneumonia. Oh, dear me. Okay, uh, look, let's just take a risk and, and give this guy our uh, Chancellorship, I guess. And someone else died. Odda. Okay. Died at 57. I, I gotta say, I'm still going strong. Still going strong. <laughs> uh, I have become the Jarl again. Okay, so I'm 71. Goodness me. Perhaps I, ju I should just wait until my son actually... The Yard of Northumberland, the Yard of uh, Counties. Jeez, that is actually quite a lot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and imprison my sons. If I can. 80% chance of, of uh, actually doing that. And will lower my opinion. Everyone will lower their opinion of me. Um, shit, what should I do? I'm not sure. I, I'm really risking... I'm really pushing it here. He is 71. That's really old. And I think whilst I wanted to take Munster over, I should uh, probably consolidate all my landings before I do that. And that means killing off two of my sons. So I'm going to imprison this guy. And I'm, I've safely locked him away, which is good. And my other son here... Why can I not do anything with him? Okay. That's very odd. Uh, he had all daughters as well. <laughs> oh no, grandson. Grandson, sorry. Jeez. Um, why can't... Oh, he's dead. He died. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so we're going to kill our son now. Well, it couldn't happen better. Okay, um... Before we do that, he does not actually have any kind of heir, so that's good. So that all his land will go to us. So we are going to execute him, and we will be considered a tyrant. But that's alright, because I'm very old. So we're just going to let time pass now. Our armies will, of course, uh, get bigger and bigger. And actually, they're smaller, but anyway. <laughs> Um, I have discovered a plot where Bo of Cumberland seeks to fabricate a came on the Yaldum of Northumberland. Okay. Uh, you better stop that, buddy. End your plot. Thank you. Okay, so he should actually do that. And yes, he did. Okay, so we're, sh we're on somewhat shaky ground. There could be revolts uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but we have decreased the amount of things that won't go to us. And we may as well decre uh, create the Duchy of Moray. Okay. What else? Um, I think that's about it. Uh, my son is really old already and I, I don't think his reign will last very long. Mine is just going forever. I wonder if I could make a plot against myself. <laughs> um, uh, so my truce with Munster is still going, I believe. It is, 1897. Uh, I could take... Oh, you cheeky, cheeky girl. Uh, who... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Uh, I've discovered a plot where Guntran Hasevik has uh, seeks to kill the prince. Oh dear. Alright, so we need to actually imprison you. No, we need to... No, let's imprison her. Yay. Okay. That's good. So she won't be doing anything now. Ha 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 ha. And Siegfried has left my court. Oh, because you're a concubine. <laughs> oh dear me. Um, that's not good for you, is it? Okay, uh... No longer spy master because you died. Oh, that's not good. Okay, uh, spy master, spy master. 
Let's see here. What do we need for Spymaster? Of course, uh, Skullduggery is a plus. So uh, this this woman, uh, my courier, will actually do quite well in the role being 16 Intrigue. And of course, I'm not going to get married. Yeah, Sandrea doesn't have a huge amount of troops, do they? They don't have any anymore anywhere else, do they? No, not really. Uh, I should probably declare war on... Oh, that's Sandrea as well. <laughs> okay, I can declare war on this guy, I think. Power raise. And I can now. Good. Okay, so let's do that. We'll call in allies. And we will raise our military. He's only got 189. I unfortunately, can't join your battle. Oh, well, that's a shame. Okay, so... Uh, right. Let's raise our vassals here. And, in fact, this guy can just take care of business right now. Uh, where are you going? Gwent. All right. So I should be able to actually... Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, one second here. Um... We need to run away, and all our guys can actually go there. Okay, so we should be good. Is he chasing after us? That is the question. Well, he won't be anymore because we have 5,000 troops sitting here. All right, but we are actually way over time, I've just noticed. So you will see this war uh, <laughs> come to fruition in the next episode unfortunately for you so uh thanks everyone for watching uh, if you like what you saw do please remember to hit that like button you can also follow me on twitter at the pixel pirate this has been your host the pixel pirate thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow